Welcome folks to White Moose Lake, Alberta in Fishing Planet for the unique lake trout. Now this is a very interesting one as it is the biggest lake uh, fish in the lake and what most people go after here. Uh, but anyway, you're going to spawn on the hut and I have fished these quite a bit and have had good luck with a lot of things. So what I'm going to do first here guys is show you the marks that I have had in really good luck um, just a few of them uh, oh there's one the crankbait and then I'll go over which ones I've had the best luck at the end but I want to show you these locations so that if you want to mark them on your map you can do them as well that is negative 14 negative 30 um, shiners here at negative 19 negative 29 uh, Splake, that's not one. Unique Lake Trout, uh, <laughs> uh, two ounce, six ounce, medium spoon. So that's 56 grams if you're metric. And that mark is negative 28, negative 32. And so what we're going to do is there is actually another spot on this side I want to show you guys that does work really well too. And that's with that crankbait. Um, so the best luck here guys if you're lure fishing obviously the crankbait works good and if you're wondering to them other sets of marks are right over there uh, the crankbait works really well um, also the two aught six ounce uh, or uh, six aught <laughs> two ounce which is 56 grams if you're metric uh, any of the medium spoons, the yellow, the red, or the X series will work really good if you twitch along the bottom. You got to wait for the lure to hit the bottom though, and then reel in. Otherwise, too, folks, you can use bottom rods with spawn sacks on a four rod. Anything on a four rod to a six rod works really well uh, on these guys, and there's actually a lot of things you guys can use. Um, spawn sacks, shiners, and large minnows all work pretty well uh, about about equally and there's just a lot of ways to catch these uniques and you just want to experiment with what works best for you or what you have with your bag but hopefully that'll help you out. You can actually catch them on float rods too. They're a little tougher. Uh, it seems like a lot of the fish here in white moose, the bottom rods just are a, a little better at fishing it. Uh, just so you guys are aware of. So hopefully this helps you out guys and have a good one.